Hey, good morning everybody, it's Mike. Thanks for jumping on with me this morning. You think there's really a devil out there? You think so? Is there really a devil? You know that little red guy with horns and a perforated tail and a pitchfork running around sticking people with his pitchfork trying to get them to do bad things? Do you remember the old comedian? Let's see, uh, let's see if we can age you a little bit. Do you remember Flip Wilson from the 70s and his little act, uh, the devil made me do it. Do you think there really is a little devil like that? Well, in the case of our real estate business, I don't think it's the devil made me do it. I think it's the devil made me not do it. Staying in contact with my past clients and my sphere of influence, making videos, making a certain number of calls each day, robust engagement on social media, actively marketing myself each day. I know I should be, I know I should be, but I don't. The devil's making me not do it. I think the devil, probably in real life too, uh, the devil wouldn't show up so obvious as a little red guy with a tail and a pitchfork. I think we would recognize him too early or too easily. I think he'd come disguised as something very attractive. In the case of our real estate business, maybe the devil shows up disguised as very attractive distractions. What do you think? You think the devil's more clever than to be so obvious? I think so. I think the devil wants you to fail, wants me to fail in our aspirations. He wants us to grow frustrated. He wants us to be depressed. He wants you to feel hopeless and overwhelmed. That's what he exists for. He wants you to feel He wants you to feel like it should be easier, that it shouldn't be so hard, that there's got to be an easier answer to the, the dilemmas. And what I say to you today is, don't let him win. We have to fight it every day. The devil's constantly working on us, making us feel frustrated, making us feel anxious, making us feel depressed and lethargic, making us feel like it shouldn't be so hard. Um, I think the devil's making us not do it, not take action every day, not complete the activities, which we know we know, hey, if I did this stuff every day, everything would get better in my life. I would have more, a stronger pipeline of buyers and sellers, which means I got to choose who I work with and who I don't. It means that I would be more profitable and consistent in, consistently profitable in my business, which would ease my fear and anxiety around money it might help improve the lifestyle for my family and I so that we could live and share the experiences that we want to. All I have to do is take action every day and get these activities. Sure, they make me feel uncomfortable. Sure, they're difficult. Sure, I've got my own hangups. And sure, but what I want out of my life for myself and for my family. It's just so much more important than how I feel today. And it's definitely more important than that little damn red bastard running around trying to get me to not do it, to exacerbate my fears and anxieties and uh, make me feel frustrated and depressed and lethargic. I'm not gonna let him win. I'm going to fight him every day. I'm going to look him right in the eye every day. And I'm going to say, you little red bastard, you ain't whipping me today. I'm going to win. I'm going to get these actions done. I don't care how uncomfortable it makes me feel. I don't care. Because what I want is so more important than everything else. And when you resolve to be fierce like that, then you will go out and you will make it happen for yourself today.